forgot that F2 did that in there. I just had to check in and go look at all of this awesomeness. This area I just wandered into. I, I'm still looking for relay stations, but this is just cool, man. It's like just, it's like a whirlwind of rocks that have formed here. I, I do dig how some of this world is formed. Some of it's kind of a pain in the butt, though. It's been a lot of uh, large lakes and deep holes, and traversing has been quite difficult. Luckily, I, I've picked up a, a king's ransom worth of random rocks. Here we are, back to more ocean oceanography. Yeah, I have, I've, I've. I've gone all over the place looking for relays. Don't mind that, that's just second relay. But hello everyone, how's everyone doing today? I'm Dustman Avenger, joined by myself. This is Exotic Matter, and I am back. I'm back looking for the relays. And, yeah, I, I wanted to just show that one off that I saw. Uh, there was a relay really, 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 really close to our house. In fact, the house we set down last time... I kid you not, is like here, and this is the relay. Here, relay, here, relay. I was I, I already recorded partially of me finding the relay, but I ended up trashing that because it didn't turn out, didn't turn out that well. Um, it, there wasn't anything major in there. There was just some utility, some blueprints to make things that we already have lots of, like uh, memory cards and... It was memory cards and how to make our own uh, uh, flip-flop, which is this doohiggy right here. So we got the schematic for that, which is good in case for some reason we you, you lose it. But I'd be more interested in, okay, like the emergency drilling laser. I was like, why, why would we ever make a second one? Well, we used it in our recipe. So, you know, it, it makes me think that we're going to use another one in a recipe so we can always keep one with us. Now, what the relay said, though, and uh, I may just clip it and go back to that, but it was essentially uh, two odd ob observations that the uh, the traveling parties had seen. One was spiraling water that comes up out of the ground. They're not sure if it's some sort of magnetic phenomenon in, on the planet or if there's actually water creatures. And the second oddity was... A squelching noise near Criterion at night. They kept hearing like a <laughs> noise, and they were unsure of like what it was. They, they they said it sounded like slime being passed through, like slime squeezing through something small, which makes me wonder if at some point slime creatures are gonna start invading our little home ship through the cracks and crevices of a. Know, crashed interstellar vehicle. It would be interesting. We will see. I may just, yeah, let's just stick it out from here on. So, originally I thought, hey, maybe the relay stations would be in a line through here. Well, they're about four blocks away. I searched about four blocks over here to no avail. Thought maybe it'd be up in the round the sides, so now I'm just kind of wandering at this point. I'm looking for large flat masses of land because it seems like the relay stations only do on a, well, not large. Hey, don't be getting fresh with me, sir. I saw that laser. I saw where you pointed it. Let's see, we're gonna, we're gonna look. Keep looking for relay stations. Luckily, we can see a little bit into the distance, not too, too far, but far enough that I think I can kind of get the idea of what a the little relay post looks like. It's a pole with lights on it, but there's lights around the base. So if we can see just lights glowing out there at night on the ground, we should be able to find one. I don't know how many relay stations are. That's weird looking. I don't know how many relay stations are in the game right now, because again, as we've said before, this is alpha. This is very early alpha. I, mean, I, I remember seeing from the, the the points, the points mean how many iterations of saving and, and rebuilding there's been to do substantial updating. Not many, not many on this one, 
But, you know, for what they have done so far, uh, the mechanics, I mean, the mechanics are a little slidey. Sometimes it seems like the uh, it eats the inputs and then reapplies them. So, like, if I do too many things at one time, it'll just... My inputs will still be recorded and then it'll just kind of, like, move on its own for a second. Which is accurate when you're trying to jump, you know, across some of these gaps. But, I mean, other than that, and the idea and the, the, the space marine style of uh, learning and surviving and adapting. I dig it. I like it. I, I'd like to see where this game ends up going and I'll, I'll definitely end up playing more of it. I, which is which is also the unfortunate statement of playing more of it. If I don't find something to substantially increase, you know, to, to, to move this along, progress if you will, this may be the last exotic matter for a while until some updates go through. Because, you know, I, I I can't just keep, like, every day, let's tune in to Dust Bunny traveling across a wasteland for 30 minutes. Like, after a while, probably after this one, you're going to be like, oh, I can watch a wasteland anywhere. I can look at a real wasteland. It's fun. I, I don't know. I, I, I enjoy this because this is very, it reminds me very much of Minecraft in that sense with the, the world gen. I always thought that finding things like this was fascinating in Minecraft because the, the world gen always seemed like they, it preferred mountains over floating rock masses. But this world gen seems to really love the floating rock masses. I mean, they're all over the place. And I can really dig that. I, the, the, the feel of it on an alien planet makes sense to me. Especially when we've already discussed via lore that there could be, you know, magnetic issues. There's atmospheric issues that are causing communications to be hard. So the idea of, like, floating islands and stuff isn't too far-fetched. Um, reminded of you of... Oh, 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 that hurt, actually. Pop a soda or two. Of, uh, that... What was that movie? Uh, Avatar. There were floating islands all over the place. Of course, I think there were... Yeah, I mean, it was because of the the, the metal in the ground that, that had a magnetic interference with the uh, the iron and the rocks or something in the islands. Stuff like that. I, uh, ooh, I'm almost dead. I do not know what happens when you die, and I hope I don't lose stuff because I have all my valuables on me. Because I am bad. Just, just keep drinking the sodas. Gosh, how... Is, is one of those things... Like, 10 HP? Is that what it is? Yeah, it looks like one of those things is 10 HP. That's a lot of HP. That means we've got... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12... Uh, 14... Roughly 140 HP. Survivability. That's... That's intense, yo! Am I going back down? I'm going back down. We will head to the south and head, start heading back to the ship. And then I'll at least show you guys what a relay station looks like. Years after I crossed this, this murky brine. It is eerily pretty, isn't it? Is that the cloud cover, the stars in the background, the the cosmos, the coloration, the cosmos? That's what I assume, assume it is. I assume that this planet is in some sort of nebulae, and that's just interstellar clouds that are are arranged in such a colorful pattern. Well, for a skybox, well done. That that's pretty. Whoa, 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 whoa. My, my, my brain wasn't clicking. I was like, oh, we already made it. No, this is a new relay station. Woo I didn't think we were going to run into a relay station. Okay, what you got for me, buddy? Winter Shruthi, 12039-0227. I'm curious about the residue that covers much of the planet. Shining splinters stick in your heels. Iron shavings blow in the wind. 
Alloys used to be an enormous abundance on Xylon. Now all that remains is a metallic coating. A dissipation. Much of it's blowing into the planet's waters and sinking. Perhaps most of it is already down there. Perhaps it came from the strange construction around the planet's moon. Interesting. So there's more stuff around the moon. Where is that? Where did that came from? Awesome. Acid. A blueprint for acid. I can use this to replicate it if I have the correct components. Acid. What do we do with acid? Surface teleporter. Use this one to replicate one if I have the correct components. Could we use this? Transport you upwards to ground level. So we could technically live underground, I guess. Glass. We have glass now. Chunk of silicate non crystal has been given a tent. Electronic boards. Ew. Actually, makes me think, though. We have silicon, don't we? Could I potentially make. I can't make silicon out of glass. But that's, uh, that's crafting. I like silicon and glass. Can I make. I can't make glass. No such thing. No glass rolled men here. Can I make, like. I don't think I might want to use my mining laser to make glass. That'd be weird. Maybe like uh, volcanic eruption residue. You can find this tough immediately below the layer of sand. Okay, so that's not the case. I'm just seeing if there's anything I can do to make glass because that would be cool. Water, maybe water and sand. No, silicon and water. No. Ship hole? Why well, we shouldn't have the ship hole? <laughs> I blew a hole in the ship. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. Alright. So, yeah, one one more down. Uh, Let's actually do the smart thing, which is mark it as we, we find them. Third relay. Technically, it's the second relay. But I'm counting RS as a uh, RS1 over here, the the first relay, as the first relay since it technically is next to the ship. It technically brings all of it home. So yeah, that is actually um, I think my hypothesis might be correct. So it wasn't a direct outline pa path. I think if we s travel this way, we should find one right around here. I think it might be a circular area. All right, well, shoot, we got a heading. Let's go. Heading, you know, a course, a route, a, a, a direction. I'm horrible, horrible direction. So a game that's like forcing me to use my mind is scary. A little bit, little, little, little bit scary. You know, just a little, little bit scary. I, I don't direction well, both either in game or IRL. This, yeah, I should not have come directly through here. That's, that's, oh, that hurts. My pride, my rocks. I hurt my rocks. Really? Beep. Need to get to the other side. Need to get home. Okay, we'll use sand because it doesn't follow Minecraft physics. Actually, one, one sec. If I put sand down on my own, and then I dig it up, can I get more silicon? <gasps> because that doesn't make sense. But we'll we'll roll with it for now. If I need silicon, I have an idea to do with that sand, which essentially do this, and then. Um, more quickly. Dig it all back up, and then I got silicon. Mini, mini silicon. Like 13 silicon. That, that's, that's great. Are we going the correct way still? Yeah, more or less. 
should actually be around here somewhere. Following that circle, I mean, it, it should be right around here somewhere. Because it would be probably eking around. I probably need to just follow this line, honestly, instead of dancing around it. Northwest still, let's head a little bit more northwesty. Northwest to go. Don't see anything out there. What is out there? What what are we seeking? Who will we meet? Next time! Soon. Next time soon, hopefully. So I'm gonna play on my map a lot. So confirm not one over here. Possibly right here. It's gotta be right around there. No, if we don't go. Never fly if we don't float. This, the water is making it very hard to traverse, though. Also, these giant pits, the, the depths. Like, I don't... Sand. Okay. Am I traveling around as much? I wonder if I can swim a little bit faster. Two, if... If there weren't so many dang holes! There's holes everywhere, man. Make my whole make me go whole crazy. Or just run around chopping holes. That's where that's that's not a cargo box. Though I have seen random cargo boxes, which actually now that I think about it, random cargo box may have been a relay that was destroyed. But I don't think it had, like, uh, blueprints in it. I think it just had materials in it. So I'm not 100% sure on that. Yeah, we gotta get a little bit of head, head, head more south. Oh. I'm almost dead. I need to eat, I need to drink more soda. Or, or sparkling water made from just plants. Mmm, the taste of Venus fly plant. Venus fly plant. Venus fly trap with every sip. Does a body good. It's a body something there. Huh? I'm going north again. I'm going. I'm going the right direction. Scared. Very best that no one was before. Catch them as my wheels. Darn that catchy song! Uh, okay. I'm gonna get an aerial view in a second. Is it time to sand? Yeah, it's time to sand. Let's go sand! Realistically, this would never work! Please don't fall. It will kill me. <gasps> Relay station! Probably the worst possible place. My gosh! Relay station, what are you doing? Oh, Relay station, I've missed you. You're on a horrible, horrible plane of existence right now. Alright, what you got for me? Solaire Shalit, 12039-0423. Can't find her. Sandy, one of our antenna picked up a signal. She decided to investigate. By striding into danger, most likely. Always taking the initiative. We're going to split into search parties and go looking. So we have someone missing. 
One of our guy things picked up a signal and somebody went searching for it and now they're missing. That's not good. What we got? Ooh. Shelter slide to make those. No, oh, I did not mean to hit E on that. Okay. Arizel, we, we gotta look for it now. Um, I think it was a okay, switchable switchable light block. We did not have that before. We had the switch before. We have the blueprint. Blue blueprint. Blue. <laughs> the blueprint. The blueprint for glass now. That's amazing. We also have tin batteries in there. That's fantastic. Classy drilling lasers that we too can't make. So yeah, I think, uh, oh yeah, it was the acid. We have the acid already. The surface teleporter. S shelter slide door. I mean, we're getting there. It'd be really nice if I could, um, chop one of you guys up and move you with me so I could, you know, be able to store stuff. Right, so... Yeah, it's almost a little bit of a, a circle pattern around here. This would be fourth relay. Giving me the idea that... Okay, second relay is right there. Do you think it'd be that easy? Do you think it'd be right here? It might be, right? It might be just right smack in the dibbler dabbler there but we're running out of things that I could possibly think I mean we need to make the acid we need to get back and, and start crafting some of the stuff we've got in our hands on because I don't know what we do with acid but we also need to make some more vitae because uh, as good as it is why is there a random box here random cargo box Credit, battery, shelter wall, and silver. I'm not gonna complain, but I'm a little bit. Oh, oh, sorry. I, I hit escape. I think I hit uh, console. Wait, are you green? Oh, you looked really green for a second. I was concerned. No health and. That is four relays. Three relays today. Maybe it's not as hard to find things as I thought. Maybe I'm just really bad at traveling. Yeah, it's probably the, the, the more likely story. I'm just bad at moving my body around to find things. Okay, so this is why you go outside and play. You're not bad at moving. Why there's so many of you? This is eerie in a game where I don't see many of you things at all. That there's a collection of you here. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just walking by. Question mark. Oh my gosh, there's even more of you. You guys are. Why did I wander into? Look, I. You guys are everywhere. Okay. 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 Uh, I don't know where this 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 signal is. I'm supposed to be running into, but I went the wrong I went the wrong dang way. Second relay is around the corner. I guess I'll just show you guys second relay, and then we'll head over to what may possibly be the relay. That would probably kill me if I fell down there. I am not even sure I am who man. Because I don't float. I stink pretty fast. Well, as if I'm wearing some sort of like survival suit. I guess I would be. Ooh, are you getting frame me there again? Me? So Brad is you lose your cool. Maybe 
something I'm not supposed to see yet. Which case, awesome. That's scary. All right, what's our map looking like? We've passed the second relay. Let's head that way. Just yeah, because you know, I don't like doing anything off screen that doesn't get recorded. I think I just placed those two videos together, but it was a lot of me running around for app. Nothing seeing me travel here. By the shelter walls. Yes, I very clearly remember this particular hole. The moon. The moon, she glows. Okay, um. Did I really go that far? Was I not supposed to go across that water? I'm going fuzzle. Wasn't that close to it? Maybe I'm, oh, I see. I went caddy corner. I should have gone caddy corner. Now, we've pretty much confirmed that we don't have air. Which is weird. Again, if we're in some sort of environmental suit, I guess it would make sense. We, we, we're in a... That's copyright music. People calling me. Stop calling me. I had, I, I have my sound. Uh, Sadly, had listed calls off. That was an unlisted number. Interrupting me. Oh, do you see that on the map too? If we're not on the, it only records surface travel. Any other travel, it doesn't list. Because I was underwater for a little bit, and there's a little area right there. That's good to know. If we find a large cave system or something, we, we, we better keep an eye on where we're going on the overworld. Otherwise, we are going to get seriously lost. There it is. Show this one. And then we'll head over the final relay, which should be, in the pattern that we found, be really close nearby. And given the time, yeah. Oh man, I never restarted my time. See, I, I threw a bunch of uh, frequency chips in here. I did not mean to actually hit E on the frequency chips. Uh, I threw frequency chips in here because I had no other place to put them. And. Yeah, I, I just really wanted to. Get out of my inventory. So I don't lose them. Alright. Let's talk to you just so we can get it recorded. Winter, Shiri. 12039034. Studying this world is like trying to build a coherent image looking through a kaleidoscope. One collects not but jigsaw pieces and upside down fragments. I totally feel that, man. Oddity the first. Smith and I observed some water anomalies near the ship, ballooning, spiraling portions of water above the surface, elongating up and then pirouetting like a spinning top. Was it caused by some kind of organism or technology beneath the surface? If the fluid itself is even water, did it create this motion at play? Meaning, is it done by, like, the world, or is it done by, is, is the creature alive? So, I mean, you never know. Oddity the second. Smith and I were down its Criterion's lower deck, sifting through components when we heard the squelching, as Smith put it. A series of smacks and slurps on the other side of the hull. From within Xylon's earthly bowels, I thought it might have been some subterranean fauna. Uh, a worm or a mole analog. But there were no sound of shifting earth. Just the sound of jelly being pressed through a tight space. Terribly odd. Yes, it is terribly odd. Could you imagine? I mean, it'd be like, uh, like squid creatures or like octopi. So just going, <laughs> just sliding on the roof. And I mean, you're in a crash ship, so pull backs and things for creatures to slip through if they have the ability to. You go this way, this way, that way. That away, let's go. That away. Wait. Oh. It, at times the game gets really, really framey, like the FPS drops big time. But 
again, Alpha. I, I stand by that Alpha defense. And I will stand by that Alpha defense for a long time in this game. Just, I think this game has the potential to be a, f a survival, uh, like, voxel game. In fact, I'd even argue maybe fun sci-fi voxel horror. Is, I don't know about you, but... One, getting lost is horrifying to me. And two... Despite all its beauty, at night, this planet's a little bit creepy. Head north again. I'm heading... How do I keep getting so turned around? Go that way. I'm trying to traverse it, so I get... I, I turn to go traverse it, and then somehow that ends up inadvertently make me go well off path. Like, that is a serious drop, and we just fell into it. Actually, you know what I can do real quick? Um, just to make a spot of inventory, I know I can put... Did we have three battery? Interesting. Put battery over here. Go ahead and just equip that sucker. And then... I see you. I think I don't. So you go to the right. As soon as I get the chance to, keep going the... Drinking some soda on the way, because I... I can climb mountains and drink refreshing bites of water. This is a uh, spooky. Oh. I just broke through this area. Look, I've been. This video may be 30 minutes in, but trust me, I've been wandering far, far longer than just 30 minutes. Off camera, I, I've easily been in the, the two to three hour range, wandering around trying to find these dang things. So let's keep going this way, and then we'll swing to the left, and we should, if my math is correct, or my ability to see patterns, or the ability to see a circle in my head, that we should be coming across the next relay station, which may be the last relay station. I don't know. I don't know how many relay stations they have. We have a service means to make one. What what is what is this game? What do I do? I I guess chug a soda and jump to my death. Running low on the sodas. Running low on the soda. It is super dark in here, by the way. I apologize. I, I don't think there's a brightness meter in the game. And I've got brightness cranked up a little bit on OBS, but it's still just... Oh, man, it is... It's hard for me to see what's going on. I was gonna say I'm running low on stuff. Yeah, I am out of stuff. Do I have more sand, shelter, wall. Start using leaves. Okay, I'll start using leaves. I probably don't have to go to the higher ground. I just want to go there so I can kind of have an idea of where I be versus the rest of the world. That's not a relay station right there, is it? Behind that tree? No, I think it's just glowy grass. Alright. Uh, where are we? In the range that we should see it, actually. In fact, we've passed it. Should be around here somewhere. I 
that way? Oh man, 100% that way. I guess we were underground for part of it, so there's really anything we can help. Nighttime just lasts forever out here. Can't go back to the horror idea. You would have it easily. Camel is yep. Hop, skip, and a jump. Should it should be in this area right here. I just keep heading this way. There's no way I shouldn't be able to see it from. At least maybe up top. I, I'm empty up top. I'll try to do that naturally without just wasting too many blocks. You don't have to waste a lot of blocks. Do we have another weird relay on top of a very odd foundational area? Possibly. That would surely kill me. I gotta admit, though, I love the reach. You got some serious arm distance in this game. Okay. Still, it's gotta be somewhere. Now, this can be pretty much anywhere in this area right here. It's still gonna be a ways away. Actually, get into some. Ooh. Some flat area, please. I beg of you, flat area. Sh thrust yourself upon me, flat area. I deserve some peaceful running and not all this mountain climbing. Okay. Check. Got to do maybe here, a little bit north, and a little bit south, and we'll see if we can find it. It's got to be right around here. It's a little bit too close. I mean, we'll check over here to the the west at the same time, and then we'll. we'll Double back around and, and check eastern area as well. All right, I'm not seeing it. Definitely not a flat area. All right. Head back down this way, past the tree grove. South into the yeah west east southeast. Let's go ahead dead east. Dead east. Dead east. Dead east. That's not the song at all. Hmm. Where are you, you silly relay? Don't tell me. Please don't. Please, please don't tell me you spawn down the depths. That would be. Weird and kind of pointless, honestly. Mm -hmm. Question mark. Oh, it's not pretty down here. But. Gotta be like right, honestly, I'd say like right on the other side of that water. Running out of stuff. Oh, oh, it's right there, we can see it. 
Actually, we can actually see it very well through the water. It kind of hides some of the fog. The frogginess of this world. There we go. That is our possibly final relay. I, I, I don't know. Hope it's got something amazing in it. I, I, I don't know if these relays have been set on what items they have. Or if they only give you certain items for uh, how many relays you've found. But we're still missing very key components in this game, such as the ability to craft a mining number two, miner, uh, a drill miner number two. I, we need that. We need it so bad. Because we don't have the means to actually cut through some of the basic blocks here. These rock blocks are still immune to what we have. Oh, that is... Yeah, without triangulating where the relays were going to be, there was no way I was going to see this. Not a one. What do you ask how I'm uh, surviving on the with, with the trees? What do we got? Please, amazing stuff. Frequency chips. We have plenty of those. SCOM, a blueprint for an SCOM, a device which lets you change the proportions of blocks, properties of blocks. I can use this outline to replicate one if I have the correct components. Change the properties of blocks? That may be our thing right there in SCOM. We put for an SCOM. Change the properties of blocks and electronic boards. All right, what do you got for me, sir? Madam, explorers. Winter Shruthy, 12039-0414. Hamilton and his shortcuts. Everything must be automated, streamlined, done by hands other than his own. Has he never shunted against the matter of the universe? Felt the flush of friction? Muscles popped, sweat flooding from your pores as you lift, bend, and twist. So he doesn't like working. He likes having machines do it. I propped the unit up, hit the SCOM, and watched his antenna unfurl itself. Some gunmetal giraffe extending its neck up into the sky. Hamilton says it'll help us communicate and pick up any signals on Xylon. Let's see what we find. Hit the SCOM. So you hit the SCOM and watched it unfurl itself. Does that mean we can make our own? No, not for nothing. I've never actually gone to the top and explored a little bit. Can we break these down? Question mark. And how bad is it if I break it down? Can't break it down. It's very, very important item. Can't break it down. Okay. Well, we're gonna. Well, when we're gonna mark this fifth relay, those are the places we've explored. Those are what we found. We have an idea of where the relays reach out to each other. Now, what could be said, and we actually, this may be the way to unfurl the story, is we know this goes around the ship. Now, we do, what we don't know is, is there one up here? Is there one over here? Do they keep going around and around and around? Like, like are there more and more and more? Like, that would make sense. But also, you got to wonder, we just came out of, like, stasis or whatever. How long has the ship been here? Because, not for nothing, the story... Winter, 12039-0414. So, 12039. What day is it for us? Uh, I mean, our our date and times don't match up. We're at 100-087-125. I mean, I, I don't... I, I feel like that's the date. Or is that the XYZ? I, I actually wasn't keeping track. That's our XYZ. Never mind. I thought that was our date. <laughs> Sorry. Still, interesting... Let's head back up this way. That'd be that way. We're heading up that that way.
see what we can see. Do what we can do. I want to make acid. Not in the Breaking Bad's kind of way. I, I want to make it see what it does. I mean, is that... Do we need acid to make the next mining laser? We're possibly SCOM change box. I mean these are questions I do not have answers for. But I really want to find out. So home should be right around here. There's a little shortcut we made to get back into the base. Find the door. Go. Door in. And we're here. Back home. In fact, since we've gone through a lot of VTAs, I mean like a lot of VTAs. Look at all these all these chains we got. There's like all these credits. Vitae's. Now, I know we can crack Vitae's but yeah, that's what I think the machines are here for. Just giving us little boosts of energy when we need it. So, GCOM, not what we need. We need to find our way back to the main room. Via stairs, via stairs. We gotta replicate some stuff. At least try to, try to replicate stuff. We need to make acid. I don't know what we need for the acid, but we gotta make the acid. Also, I wouldn't mind making a shelter, a slide door. That's a little bit more complicated than I thought. I have 14 batteries. What? Okay, let's not let's not uh, use stuff that's very important. Acid. Make water out of the acid. Some liquid acid. Handle with care. Don't throw the acid at me, please. I'm scared. I have acid. I don't know what to do with the acid. But I'm interested. Okay, what do we need for blast class two we still need uranium or whatever it is. Switchable light block. Perhaps. Glass? Does glass just use sand? Just use the sand. Alright. I don't just go go back into your home. Server, where is this SCOM? There we go. Blueprint for an SCOM. I need sand? Really? I need sand. That's an SCOM. Oh yeah, SCOM. I thought then what's a flip flop? Just replicate one. What's the flip flop then? Electronic device that switches other devices on and off and connects to a button to toggle other devices. Oh, interesting. So I'm kind of back to square one on having means to do stuff, but not really a means to use it. I mean,. I guess we can make things like the server, a button, a flip-flop and stuff. The flip-flop connects to the server, but I'm still not sure of how or why. I mean, I guess we could technically take over a relay station and look for the signal. But even that, that's kind of going uh, a little bit on a stretch. Let's get... Man, I don't know. Let's let's play with the acid real quick. We have acid. I, I doubt it flows. Everything else in this game doesn't seem to flow. Does it hurt? Oh my gosh, it hurts real bad. It hurts real bad. And we don't collect it when we're done. It just it just dies. Okay. So SCOM changes the properties of blocks, but it doesn't seem to change the property of blocks that we needed to change the properties of, so... Actually, I think... Th this is a flip-flop right here. Yeah, 
It says uh, net net flop or something like that. In fact, I know for a fact we can uh, we can scam it. Yeah, we can see what's inside and what it's uh, what it's talking to. I don't really understand the frequencies things. The the frequency tutorial was really really short. Touch that, check. Oh man, so I, I've I've reached relays and I have unlocked stuff, but I don't really know what to do still. Which is unfortunate, which is really Really, really, really flippin' unfortunate. Well, I mean, we have acid. Let's make some more acid. Uh, just because acid. So, uh, let's actually make all the acid I got. So, that's tin acid. We'll combine some stuff together, see if we can get anything that... Now, I know they were like an SCOM and an antenna to find a signal or... A, to unfurl an antenna. I mean, I don't think I've unfurled any. I don't think I've seen any unfurled antennas anywhere. So I'm not really sure what to do in that regard. Um, we've got the acid now. Acid plus glass. No. Duct tape. Can we up? Actually, could we upgrade the the teal nut launcher with acid? That'd be kind of cool. Duct tape, thing, glass, nut, electronic cards, no, um, power cell, memory chip, no, power supply unit, actually, hold up, could I potentially do, could I jerry-rig our current laser with just to be slightly stronger with something like a power supply unit and duct tape yeah, I was really hoping there'd be other ways to figure this stuff out Oh boy, yeah, this may be a little bit of a grasping at straws type of thing. So let's try upgrading the, the teal nut gun. Is there any way to upgrade the sucker? Can I upgrade you with acid? Can I make an acid gun? It would be probably duct tape, that, and battery. Battery. So no no crazy fruit gun challenge thing. Can I take something like ship hull and melt it down to a different source? Or silver. Um what does it do with normal water? Nothing. Leaves. Till not, I mean I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. The crafting is a little bit, like, I like the idea of it coming across as you kind of put stuff together to figure it out on your own, but it's extremely confusing in that regard, too, because the information is lax. Very lax. I did, I did sort through all of this, right? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm just triple checking, because, uh, That'd be my luck. You'd be like, oh, well, you totally forgot. That's a nice, bigger box. I wish I could take the bigger box. Thank you. I did I did read all the story, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I missed something very, very simple. I mean, his first contact with extraterrestrial life forms didn't go as expected. Should we have been surprised? The craft dubbed the Visitor. Coasted into the solar system, stopped just short of Luna, performed some kind of scan, and began to disassemble itself. This is the craft disassembled itself. Interesting. It broke into six distinct segments while we watched silent, ready for the worst. 
Its component parts blossomed into a multitude of yet smaller ones, and the end began emitting light. Six lights, to be precise. Oh, that's how the creatures communicated to us. Glowing diodes in tight formations, a vertical line contrasting the oblique of Orion's belt. To the civilians on Earth, the craft's arrival heralded the appearance of six new stars in the sky. Earth's super governments, it, uh, to Earth's super government, it heralded six packages, six potential threats. Oh yeah, if you don't know what it is, that's scary. Um, HE. After a year spent analyzing packages, ensuring they were not weaponry. Oh, excuse me. We dispatched drones to study them more closely. The drones of the newly formed United Nations Space Network and Pan Continental Agency scrambled to deal with the event. Uh, ap approached the visitor with trepidation, which means uh, they were cautious. Okay, I think that was the one that we didn't read last time we were reading all this stuff. To get an idea of it, so I have acid. Actually, you know what is a, a prime experiment to do real quick? I mean, obviously, I want to put acid everywhere. Um, one on actual water. Doesn't even have any effect. Alright. Whatever. Got to find one first. Little guys, where are you? There you are. Ha. Ah. You just stand still while I knock you into a hole. You kind of know what's going on, don't you? Don't worry, buddy. It's going to be fine. Okay, really. D dude. I need you to stand still. For reasons experimental look look I, I didn't make I, I, I technically I totally made this no how about this what if I Put that down here. Um, close this. And open this. You're free. Escape, my friend. You're free to go. Well, we can't pick it back up once we put it down, but, um, one, I was kind of hoping to see that it would, they would drop something upon killing him kind of thing, but I guess we can just use that to protect our base, which honestly isn't that bad of an idea. Maybe that's something we need to actually look into doing. Um, we have Shelter Vault, they have essentially giving us all the parts to build a base, Maybe that's what they want us to do. They want us to build an actual shelter outside the Criterion. Give it security by, via acid. That way we can put like power cells and servers and things of that nature in. Maybe that's why we haven't seen too much in this area. Because we haven't started to uh, tech ourselves, so to speak. Once we make a real impact to the area. I mean, these are all robotic creatures so I mean once we start putting down our own robotic sounds and stuff in the area uh, most of the stuff on the ship is dead or inop inoperable or not working maybe once we start building working systems then we're gonna start having a little bit more um, you guys feel mad? I killed your bro? you guys just kinda popped up out of nowhere maybe they're gonna be a little bit more interested in what we're doing yeah, like that. That was 
that was downright spooky right there. Turning around, having all of them just there. So yeah, I think I'll grab some water, we'll get some acid, uh, re replicating, and you know what, we'll set that out for, uh, for next episode. We'll, uh, we'll do another, we'll set up a base, we'll set out everything we can craft so far, and then I'll do a little more exploring off screen and see what we run into. Maybe, there's gotta be more relays, right? It's gotta be? Can't just be like four relays, it wouldn't make sense, it's a huge planet. So this is Dust Bunny Avenger. From Slackers in the cover, this is Exotic Matter. And that's our ship. What up, ship? I I, I need to probably explore around our, our ship a little bit, because uh, that information that we got said that there was squelching noises near our ship. We're gonna have to take, we're gonna have to dig into that. So anyway, yeah, I'm Dust Bunny. This is Exotic Matter. I'm fl from Slackers in the cover. I will see you guys next time. This has been fun. A little exploration, it's been fun. Later underground. Bye!